Dragonflies, oh my glory. Every once in a while during quarantine, something really special happens. And today is that day because we have a bergamot with us. And guys, so happy to see you, Jillian and Nate. Nate, your hair was not that long before, was it? <laughs> it wasn't. We're so glad to be with you. <laughs> oh, for sure. No, we are just, it's like, it just keeps growing. And it's like, you know, it's the quarantine hairdo these days. Yeah. You just got to yeah. go with yeah. whatever is going. <laughs> totally get it. Totally get it. Well, the last time I saw you guys was during the summer at the concert at the St. Joseph Barn. You guys were oh. fabulous. It was so wonderful. But um, you were going to go on tour recently and it got cut short. Yes, so we well, we had planned a, a quite a big tour. After we saw you, we hit the road and we toured all the way through the summer, through December, and we kicked it back up really aggressively January 2020. And by the time we got to March like 14th, it was uh, pretty much all this stuff happened. So then we we're like, okay, well, what do we do now? <laughs> yeah. I mean, one of the things that we were, we were getting ready to open actually for One Republic at the uh, at the Purcell Pavilion at the University of Notre Dame, and we were looking forward to making the trip the trip home, <laughs> and uh, and and playing that show is kind of going to be like a dream show for us. Honestly, um, I grew up seeing great shows there: Bob Dylan, Brian Setzer Orchestra, U2. So it was going to be kind of a uh, a full circle. But you know, the tour got stopped uh, when we were in March, about a month and a half away, making preparations for that show, and it um, it just kind of evolved into what it is now and uh, we're glad that everybody's staying safe and smart about it that's number one but number two uh, we're staying busy so that's really good that is wonderful now you guys know that you you right now you live in my old stomping grounds right you guys live in Brooklyn right yes. 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 Yeah, but you're not in Brooklyn now no what happened and where are you guys <laughs> okay so this is the crazy part about living life on the road promoting a new album is that with all these tour dates we were like out there so we were in austin texas getting ready to perform at south by southwest the music festival and we we played a show on friday night and then the next night we got like the call everything was canceled and we we're like okay uh where do we go because you know you don't really want to you want to be in a, a safe location so uh good friends of ours and patrons of the arts they were like oh my gosh you guys um we just moved out of our home in sedona to a new home so our home's not on the market yet if you guys need a place to stay like while this is happening come come to sedona so we're in sedona yeah. <laughs> and it's that amazing why could not that happen to me <laughs> <laughs> Oh my yeah. God. We, we wake up and we're like, dear God, thank you every morning. We literally... <laughs> And I feel like we are living like kind of the New York life right now. I mean, we've, uh, it's been a journey since we kind of left New York city. Uh, we left to make a record in London. Um, and that was the record that came out last fall. And so when we went to London, we were on the road when we were getting, you know, intermediate between making the record and releasing the record, we were on the road. And then we got on the road starting in September at the barn starting there. And then it was going to culminate into the one Republic show. So it's just been this, um, this thing that's just kind of continue to evolve and continue to develop like any great journey. And, um, and so, yeah, at least this part of the journey, we found ourselves with a lot of sunny skies. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we've been very, very lucky on that front for sure. Well, what's wonderful is you're actually sharing those sunny skies with all of your fans on Facebook because your music really does inspire people and, and bring light and life into the lives of people. So you've been doing a kind of mini concert or performing on Facebook. Yes. So we call it Happy House. So we named this house the Happy House. And so we've been going live every single day since we got here. So today marks day 54 of going live on Facebook from the Happy House with this mini concert series. Sometimes we'll do a half an hour. Sometimes we'll do an hour for people. And we'll, per we'll perform original songs off the new album, off older albums. We'll perform uh, some of our favorite covers. And then also we'll get requests in from fans of like for example last night we had a couple in Portland Oregon it was they're celebrating their seven-year wedding anniversary and they're like can you please play our wedding our first dance song so we learned it and played it for them and it was just so cool oh that's really awesome now speaking you mentioned friends and everything how are things with your friends back in Brooklyn because with the news and everything we know that Brooklyn and New York has been hit pretty hard 
Yeah, for sure. I mean, we've been in touch with a lot of our friends in New York City. And I think that one of the things, uh, you know, life in New York City is definitely not conducive to dealing with uh, what's going on. I mean, we were living in a space where, I mean, we had 500 square feet to ourselves. And so it, a lot of our friends are kind of dealing with the same thing. I think that um, one of the things that we have done that with the Happiness House and the, the performances that we're doing is we're trying to create a space for those people to, uh, whether they be in New York City or across the coast, um, just uh, go to a place where they can kind of escape whatever their situation is. I think a lot of our friends in Brooklyn, I think, you know, it's just like looking out the window and hanging out the window and just trying to take in, um, you know, these moments. And I think it's taking everybody on a journey inward. And I think we're all having to go there. And, and, and so we try to create a space every night um, for all of our friends in New York and all of our friends across the country for them to come and just relax and kind of unplug from, you know, all the news that we're having to face every day and uh but the resilience of all of our friends in new york city is always i mean it never ceases to exactly <laughs> well, we're, we're going to have a treat because you're actually going to perform for us but how do you think that going through this perhaps has changed you or maybe touched you in a way as artists mm -hmm. oh that's such a great question for me this is the first time in my adult life that I've been stationary in one location, not moving ever. Um, I, the longest that I usually have gone is two weeks. And that's because we tour nonstop ever since college. We literally graduated and hit the road. Um, and even when we were in New York, we'd be there, but then we'd leave to go play shows and then come back to our place. So for me, this solitude of being in one location is really allowing for illumination of, of areas where I excel and I'm leaning into those areas. But as an artist, for both of us, we're just, we're taking this time to write. And this is something that's very important because, you know, as musicians without songs, like, what are we? So um, that's something that we both have been doing writing and creating. And um, we have had a lot of really cool opportunities to do Instagram takeovers and things like that as well. All over the world, we're going to be doing a big one this Sunday, May 17th, So Far Sounds. This is a very cool community where they do uh, curated concerts. They invited us to do a special performance on their YouTube page that has like over 1.2 million subscribers so we're excited to do that too yeah i think that the uh, part of the artistic process i mean i've probably written more songs in the past uh, month and a half than i have in the last year um and i'm actually really excited about it i mean it, it, the thing that we've said every single day is you have to do whatever brings you joy because it's not about writing music for the release process for the show for the if you start getting into that mindset you get overwhelmed with emotions and sadness and grief because you don't know what's going to happen but i think that the process of writing as an artist if that brings you happiness and it brings me a ton of happiness just to in my mind go on a journey and i don't know where it's going to take me and whether it be the you know the salt flats of iowa or, or the salt flats of uh of uh Oh my God, Utah. Utah. <laughs> Why am I thinking? <laughs> but the uh, whether it be the salt flats of Utah or the coast of uh, uh, of California, you know, it's going on those journeys. It brings so much joy, and we encourage people um, and at whatever creative process they're doing, just do brings you the joy and just have satisfaction of the process whether that be creating music or coloring or watching your favorite tv show as long as that process brings you happiness that's where we need to stay as people in this moment and then when we come on the other side of it hopefully whatever it is it'll just continue to one grow you as a person but two also allow you to um, adapt to whatever that new normal looks like we're all going to be so much better equipped to do it with, with that and as artists i think we're using this time to one be engaged with what we're doing but also look to the future as well and um, but just writing a ton i think that's just what brings us so much happiness and, and and it's nice to kind of get back to that you know yeah yeah love it well said well said now before you you uh perform for us are you guys going to get back on tour that is the question we're all wondering <laughs> yeah i think the promise that we're making is we want to be one of the first bands that'll be on the road when the road is available we will be there However, that is a moving target. And what do you think? I don't know. I, 
you couldn't have said it better. I mean, honestly, it's a day-to-day thing. And our number one is that everybody we know stays healthy, stays safe. So uh, one of the big things we're focusing on here at the Happy House is we are eating a lot of plants and micronutrients and we're working out four times a week. We're trying to keep our immune system high so that when the time comes that we can go back out when it's, you know, when there's the new norm happens for music that we'll be protected. We'll have very, very high immune systems to be able to help fight off whatever if something did happen because those shows that gives our souls you know <laughs> that's where we get that's where the rubber meets the road and we are so missing it. it's missing seeing our fans and um you know we're known for giving hugs after shows it's just like that just missing that sense of connection that um that we're not really feeling uh i guess it's just creating a sense of anticipation we're looking forward to that time when it comes and and when it comes you know we'll be back on the road oh good and we can't wait for that but at least we have you guys here now. What are you going to play for us? Yeah, so this is a song called Mayflies, and it's the title track off of our new album, Mayflies, and you can stream it on Spotify now. Uh, and uh, here we are in our, this is our little makeshift studio, so we hope it sounds good. Love you guys. We love you, thank you. Could evolution tell the story? Dragonflies all my glories, oh. Eventually, eh, 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 the summer names swimming in the water, looking down, oh, they taught us, oh, life goes with the eh, eh, eh. generations that come and go, we're going up now, we're going all night, down, by down, by down, by down. The measure of the life we live, the love we take, and the love we give. Oh, and those mayflies, oh, mayflies. I want to love you for the lives of a million mayflies. You and me, you and me, baby. I want to love you for the lives of a million mayflies. You and me, baby. We study the past for the future, but Aristotle means nothing to you. Oh, books on the shelf. But what we know is a mayfly grows, a quickly comes, and it quickly goes. Oh, last mystery. Build our wings and learn to fly. Tear apart again, we try to lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down. The measure of the life we live, the love we take, and the love we give. Oh, no, may flies, oh, may flies. I want to look before the lights of a million may flies. You and me, you and me, baby. I want to look before the lives of a million may flies. You and me, you and me, baby. So the story goes from the water they grow. Oh, oh, life moves quickly and they give it all up for one shot.
love you guys so much. Seriously, you guys, thank you so seriously. much for having us. Yeah, no, it was our pleasure. You guys stay safe and everything. Hopefully, we'll see you soon. You yeah, too. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I wanna love you for the lives of a million babies. You and me, you and me, baby.